Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 5.9 from Hedge book. Find the Tevnin equivalent for the network of figure 5.39 and hint train a one voltage source. Okay, first we need to find out the Tevnin voltage by using open circuit voltage and then we need to find out the Tevnin resistance using test source. Okay. Now let's find out the Tevenin voltage. Okay, we need to find out the open circuit voltage here. Let's name this as node A and let's name this as node B. And let's assume that the node B is our ground, like that. And we are going to find out the open circuit voltage which is VAB and we can do it by using KVL at this loop right this is I1 so this loop is also I1 let's see let's do KVL at loop I1 okay KVL said that the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero okay we start from this dependent voltage source which is minus 20 i1 and then plus this one will be 10 i1 and then this one will be 30 i1 and all of that will equal to zero all right then what can we do from here we get all of this Okay, now we will have 40 minus 20, that is 20i1 is equal to 0, so i1 here will be 0 ampere. Okay, I got i1, so we can calculate AB from here. Remember, here is resistor, but without any connection to the ground. So the voltage here will be the same as the voltage here and the consequences is the voltage here between this node and this node is the same as AB. So VAB is just this one here I1 multiplied by 30 and which is 0 volt. Okay, and this is our Tevenin voltage. So our Tevenin voltage here will be 0 volt. Okay, let's save that. Now we need to find out the Tevenin resistance. So we need to find out the Tevenin resistance. And we need to put 1 volt test source in the output. So let's put 1 This one here, like this, and this will be one volt. Okay, and we need to find out this I test. Okay, we can do this by using nodal analysis, right? Let's do nodal analysis in this node here VA okay let's do KCL at node A remember that KCL said that the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out okay and the currents that goes in there are two currents that goes in this one but this voltage here will be 20i1, right? So I will put 20i1. And then this one will be minus VA. Divided by 10. Plus this one here. This voltage in this node will be 1 volt. So I will have 1 minus VA divided by 5 and then that will equal to 
this current here which is pa over 30 pa over 30 okay maybe we can multiply both sides by 30 to get rid of the denominator let's do that so i will have 60 i1 minus 3 pa plus 6 minus 6 pa and that will equal to VA. Okay, remember that I1 here is VA over 30. So let's plug that in. So I will have 60 and then VA over 30 minus 3 minus 6 is minus 9. VA and then plus 6 and it's equal to VA. Now this will cancel into 2. Now I will have this one right here. 2 VA minus 9 VA is minus 7. Yeah, minus 7 VA. Let's write that. Minus 7 VA plus 6 is equal to VA. And that makes 8 VA is equal to 6. So we will have our VA will equal to... 6 divided by 8, that will be 0 0.75 volt. That is VA. But we need to find out this I test, right? And I test is just 1 minus VA divided by 5. So I test is just 1 minus VA, which is 0 0.75 divided by 5. That will be. 0 0.25 divided by 5 and this will be 0 0.05 ampere okay that is i test so we can find out the tefenin resistance tefenin resistance which is the voltage of the test divided by the current of the test we put one volt voltage source here, right? So I will have one. And then divided by I test. I test is 0 0.05. So I will have one divided by this. That will be 100 divided by 5 or 20 ohm. This is the Tefenin resistance. So we will have the equivalent circuit will be VTH is 0 volt and tefenin resistance is 20 ohm and let's draw the tefenin circuit we have zero volt tefenin source that will be short circuit right because zero volt and the rph is here that will be 20 ohm and this is not a and this is port B. Okay, is it correct? Yeah. I test is 50 milliampere. Yeah, our answer is 0 0.05. That's correct. And this is 20 ohm. Yeah, it's 20 ohm. So this the answer is correct. I did not make any mistakes. And thank you for watching. Hopefully, I my content will help you to learn about circuit analysis. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.